Uh, but like we got married, moved in together, and we learned very quickly that men and women have different priorities on how they want the home to look quickly, right? Because men only care about functionality. They don't care how it looks as long as it works, right? And women only care how it looks. They don't care if it functions at all. <laughs> and those perspectives conflict a lot. I remember the first battlefield of our marriage was the pantry in the kitchen. It got real in a hurry there. Because I just wanted it to be very simple. Just boxes of cereal, bags of chips, cans of soup. We move on with our lives, right? My wife's like, no, 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 Paul. We're not going to do that at all. We're going to take all of our food out of the pantry, get it all out of there, and we're going to put cute little wooden crates all over the pantry and then hide all of our food in these wooden crates so that way nobody knows where the food is ever again. Because it's cute. It's like my wife's goal is for me to never find Pop-Tarts, and she's winning. I hate Pinterest so much. I hate it on a level you could never understand. Oh my gosh. So we did it, but it all worked out though, because about a week later, my wife walked into our little Kardashian pantry from hell, and she pulled her cute little crystal bowl of oats out, ready for the day in the morning. And she looked at me, she's like, hey babe, how long am I supposed to cook oatmeal for again? And I said, I have no idea. If only Quaker had provided instructions somewhere on a box, we wouldn't be in this mess. And she just looked at me and said, Paul, I have to go save lives. I don't have time for this. That's not gonna work forever, young lady. But it probably will, it probably will. <laughs>